After me and my fam saw the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem film on opening day, I knew how to pick up the new sewer layer playset from the new toy line supporting the film. So how does this layer compare to sewers from years past? Keep watching to find out on this episode of Geek Dad Life. Now that I've seen the new TMNT Mutant Mayhem movie, and without spoiling anything, I'll just say I really dig the new film. My kids were genuinely pumped to see this film, and during the movie they were laughing, watching intensely through scenes with suspense, and cheered when our turtle heroes were successful. It was such a fun experience to have with my boys. On the action figure side, it's been fun to see all of the TMNT merch for this film. It's like they pulled out the old Batman 89 playbook and have given us all of the merch. The only thing missing is the triumphant return of the hostess turtle pies. The same day Mutant Mayhem hit theaters, Playmates Mutant Mayhem Sewer Lair playset started showing up at my local targets. Being super pumped from watching the movie, I had to go and pick it up. Playmates has made a Sewer Lair playset for every major iteration of TMNT, which has made them one of the rare companies to do so over the past 20 years. All of those iterations harken back to the original Sewer Lair, which wrote the template that all the other layers have followed. A sewer level, street level, a periscope, tunnels that can be attached in different ways, but also attached to the later release Technodrome, a power line swing, sewer grace to drop down, retromuge and ooze, the original sewer layer was one of the great playsets from our youth. So with that lineage and a good movie behind it, expectations for this sewer layer were high. The packaging follows a similar design pattern to the other toys in the Mutant Mayhem line, but this box is massive. Not quite as big as the OG lair, but pretty close. There's no painted art on the lair on the front or the back. It's all pictures of the actual playset. The packaging also highlights that it has over 20 different play features, with a lot of them being variants from previously released layers. Assembling the lair was a bit of work. There are a ton of floors and walls that need to be snapped and clicked together. And the big cardboard cutout cityscape reminded me of the Toy Biz Batcave, which featured a huge cardboard backer that clicked in with little plastic tabs. The same is true here. It didn't fit perfect and it's kind of bland on the backside, but I think it turned out okay. This sticker sheet was fairly straightforward, even though I couldn't find directions on where the stuff went. But I was able to easily find where to place them based on the box, except for this one sticker showing a broken floor, showing Splinter and the Turtles Ooze origin. It took me forever to figure it out. And uh, eventually I saw that it went under this train track part on the street level. Once all assembled, it's a pretty impressive sight. Just taking it all in from a design perspective, I think it looks great. It's got a lot of different colors and designs and features. I love how it incorporates the subway with the sewer as well as a pretty full featured city street level. If there was a critique I'd lay at this set is that the sewer portion is pretty small. There's enough room for a dinner table, a porta potty elevator, a safe door and a gym area. Out of those, I recall only really seeing the dinner table in the film. But to be honest, they don't spend a whole lot of time in the sewer lair. And one of the places we spent the most amount of time in, their bunk bed bedroom. And sadly, that's not featured on this set. Focusing on the play features, they all seem to work okay, but not great. My youngest son, Alex, couldn't wait to try the ooze feature, so we started with that. This set comes with a pack of ooze tucked in the porta potty, but I elected to buy a few canisters of ooze as well, hoping to get some of the different colors. I did not, I only got green. They've done ooze a few times, and I love that they're still throwing in the baby turtles. The play set comes with a translucent green orb to fill your ooze in. Once filled, you can place the orb with the lid open and let the ooze run down the special drain. Having the orb is great, because it does take a while for the ooze to run down. But once it does, it gives you that classic green ooze effect. From a design perspective, I would have liked the floor to have been indented or have some way to collect all the ooze uh, because it does run down the floor and into one of the holes. So if you are a parent, do not use the ooze feature with the playset on your carpet because it will definitely get on it. The ooze does clean up fairly easy though, which is nice. From there, Alex's favorite feature is using the ooze orb to roll down the tracks to the subway station. I wish this feature worked more consistently, but when it did work, my son cracked up every time the orb knocked over Bebop or Rocksteady. The elevator is fun, but a little clunky. I love how they actually recreated a real porta potty inside. 
Uh, the zip line is another feature that works some of the time, but you have to get it just right. It's hard to keep the line taut enough so that the turtle moves freely, but it is a fun nod to the original set. There are a few features that run behind the set with a little walkway behind the cityscape, as well as a ladder that you can attach to your figure, letting it swing into action, knocking through the doors on the street level. I will say the absence of any graphics on the back of the cardboard makes adding any play features back there a little lackluster. The subway stop looks really cool, but the clock trap door is too gummy to work consistently. The adjustable train track feature is great when the orb rolling feature works, but when it's not, and it's not in use, it doesn't do much. It's nice that you can move it around to get different setups, but it just kind of sits there most of the time. I think I would have rather had the turtles room slash bunk beds go here. The weight room slash training room is fun, but a little cramped when you have the subway station attached. When I first saw images of this set, I thought the addition of Superfly and his crew to the art in that cityscape would have bugged me, but in person, it doesn't really bug me all that much. I more so hope that we will get action figure releases of Ray Filet, Mondo Gecko, Genghis Frog, and Wingnut. I thought all of the new designs for them were a ton of fun in the film. Speaking of action figure releases, I did get the Turtles in Disguise Party Pack, a Walmart exclusive. Each disguise is a callback to the vintage Turtles, and I absolutely love the set. They are all really fun throwbacks, but I think I dig the Space Cadet Raph the best. But an honorable mention definitely has to go out to the Spock Donnie. With this playset, Playmates has now released their full run of action figures, vehicles, and playsets for the Mutant Mayhem movie. But there's a lot more characters to hit before I'd say their work is done. Hopefully the movie and toys both sell really well, because Playmates Mutant Mayhem Turtle Line has been a breath of fresh air. A call back to toy releases of the past that allows you and your kids to continue the adventures of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles at home after seeing the new TMNT Mutant Mayhem movie. As far as this sewer layer play set goes, I think it has a lot of fun features. It looks fantastic. While not all of the play features worked perfectly, they still worked enough for my youngest son, Alex, to get an absolute kick out of this play set. It's been sitting on the floor. He's been playing with it nonstop. And if you want a cool display featuring all the designs from the new Turtle movie, this sewer layer play Playset does a great job with that as well. So in a world where play sets are few and far between on toy shelves, I think this still definitely gets the Geek Dad Life by rating. If you want to keep watching, check out this video. And until next time, hasta luego and goodbye.